Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've built this WooCommerce shop site here. Um, this is part of a course we did online if you want to take the course. I've got a discount coupon below this video if you want to learn how to build this particular site. We used a, a free template and a free WordPress build to build this site here. It's a clothing store with all kind of different things and accessories and bits and pieces. What we're going to do in this series of video, we're going to install a plugin called Elementor, which will allow us to build extra pages. We've got plenty of pages on here. But what it's going to do is allow us to build real custom style pages. So follow along with this series and we'll show you how to build some great things using the Elementor plugin. Okay, yesterday we put these little four sections together, four little image boxes with a call to action button. What I'm going to do today is I want to add a bit of padding because we didn't add any padding and they're kind of a little tight to each other. I want to give them a bit of space around them. But before I do that, I just want to explain a little about difference between padding and margins. So if we scroll down here, I put in another little section here, a little blue section with a a fella here and a bit of text right here. If we go into our actual section here and go over to our advanced tab where we we'll usually find our padding and styles. If let's take everything back to zero, so I'll put that to zero and I'll put that to zero. All right. So we're dealing with this section here. If I want to add some padding, what it's going to do is add some space between the top of this here, or if I put it at the top, that is, and whatever's contained in it, which happens to be this chat or this little block right here. So if I put 50 pixels padding in there, you can see it's dropped down by 60 pixels, which is fine. You could also do the same thing by giving this a margin on the top of 60 pixels but that's the padding it's kind of like if you've got a box and you've got something fragile inside it the padding is like the bubble wrap you put around it to keep it safe sort of thing within the container or the box which is our section here I hope that makes sense okay so you can see the padding is going to push it down now if I want to push this whole section down I can't put padding on the top of there. Well, I could put padding on the bottom of the previous section, but to make this move down, I need to add a margin to the top. So let's put a 50 pixel margin on the top and it's moved down. The whole section's moved down and made more space there. So that's kind of the difference between margins and padding. But one of the most important and great things that separates margins from padding is with margins let's click on this fella with margins you can have negative values so you can bring things up or down for instance if you give the top margin a negative value it's going to pull the whole image up and you can position it between sections and stuff like that if you want to let's go there and let's give it a margin of say minus 20 and it sort of popped it up by 20 picks. If we keep going, you can do it with the arrows here. You see, he's sort of popping upwards and it's, you can position him just about any way you want to. You can position him halfway over the section. I actually positioned mine, so the bottom of the image right here was there. But that's the important difference between margin and padding. You can't do that with padding. You can't give it a negative margin or a negative padding amount because it's it just won't work so I don't know what that was let's reset that to zero I think that's okay actually he's sitting nice on the bottom so that's just a quick e example of of how padding and margins work so back to the point in question which was this little thing right here like I say I want to add a bit of space because they're a little bit cramped together not too bad 
Now I could add padding to each of these boxes that way. Might have to do that one. Probably don't need that one. I'm happy where they are. Or what I think I'm going to do is just add padding to the actual column that it's in rather than the modules themselves. So if you click on the column and we're dealing with the column, not the actual modules within it. Go over to advance to our padding. I want to give it 25 picks all round. So we've got our chain icon highlighted there, which means it'll do all four at once. So I can just put 25 in there. Boom. There it is. It's just put a bit of space around that whole thing of 25 pixels, which works great for me. And simply rinse and repeat. I think 25, wouldn't it? I rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat and like I say it's a subtle change but it, it just does give it a little more breathing room and it'll make it a little more easy to look at there we go let's update and take a look at our changes hit the little preview changes button now let's scroll down to where we were. There we are, there's our little four. They got a little bit more space between them. A little bit more breathing room. I think that's slightly easier to look at. So there's your padding and your margins. And each module, each each column and each section has those that you can you can manipulate. Alright, this little section down here we'll kind of start building this in the next video what I'll do is you quite often see these characters on websites that are sort of cut out and on the website like that what I'm going to do it's slightly out of scope for this course in the next video I'm going to show you a website you can go to to load your picture in and extract the background from people and it only works with people but it's kind of handy if you want to do something like this so we'll work on that for the next video so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.